Time to put the summer doldrums away for a bit. Mike Stevens says there's plenty of ways to hide them, especially if you look in the PhotoLink library. The colors of the season, as seen by Nancy Free of Carbondale, and this was her view of the fireworks show in the city. The usual 4th of July goings on in Carbondale weren't there this year, but there was this show, a bit of the usual in these unusual times. Same with Wyoming County, Janie Stabinski of Mahoopany saw the show at the FWM Fire Company. But there are always colors to be found if one simply looks, sometimes though, very closely. Richard Leibert of Eagles Mirror saw a butterfly. Ken Ballesta of Harvey's Lake looked closely and spotted a hummingbird moth. Color on the wing here, Cynthia Roth of Catawissa with some blue jays at the feeder. Flying colors and growing color as well. Tom Freimeyer of Cogan Station has some pink poppies in his front yard. Jillian Wydra of Wapolapan with some daisies dancing in the sun. Speaking of sun, we have sunsets. Lots of color here in an image from Lisa Granahan of Wyoming. It's sunset at High Knob, World's End State Park. And at the same time, some unusual sights to add to the sunset colors. The Lewisburg Bridge here from Jamie Ulrich of Montandon. Maybe you've heard of this place. James Hersler of Scranton captured the back end of the Scranton Lace Building at sunset. Maybe not much color here, but a pretty sight showing what happens after sunset. The moon rising over the lake captured by Joanne Tafaro in Jefferson Township. A bit more color from Mel Wolf of Waverly. This comes with a smidgen of poetry. Roses are red, violets are blue. Roses are prettier when covered with dew. Thanks, Mel. Okay, I'm out of here with this parting thought from Diane Marshman of New Milford. An Eastern cottontail on the run with Diane suggesting it has somebody to see. See you next time in the PhotoLink Library. I'm Mike Stevens.